Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're getting our second COVID shot by we, I mean him and everyone else except for me. So we got another transmission. Um, this one has been having transmission issues for a while and finally went out. But so disconnect all those lines. So we really haven't done anything. They tried draining this fluid multiple times, which didn't help obviously because people just don't know what the hell is going on. Um, but this pan has some fluid in it, as you can see. Um, but everything's connected, like this has to come off. Um, there's two bolts on top of the transfer cage. Where is it? They already took the cross member out, so it's gonna be annoying. Once we take the bell housing bolts out, I might put that cross member back in hand tight. Oh, these are the bolts for the transfer case. But I might put those uh, cross member bolts in hand tight just so we have something holding it up. And the the exhaust also has to come off. It looks like this thing had an exhaust leak. Oh, this thing's dirty as hell. Oh, coolant lines. The rear drive shaft. So I'm gonna start on that. Scott is going to uh, jack it up. Scott, you got you need four jack stands. Okay. Yeah. So this thing, I'm gonna see why it's scraping. Make sure it's not hitting up there or something. But yeah, it's a, another transmission job. But I think I'm gonna get this up just so I can get a better view of everything. This bolt. We can. Yeah. Just grab. Just grab the crane. You need a hard hat though. All right, I'll teach you. And then, so the front, this look, this grease point looks a little messed up, but just loose. So you don't have to disconnect the front, but you can loosen this and then disconnect it from the transfer case and then just move it over. But I'm gonna loosen the front up. Um, this plug, it looks bad. So I might do an oil change while we're at it. So replace the plug. Yeah, should be a quick job. I've done so many transmissions on these. I think out of everything, I've done transmissions the most out of like every job. Like I can really not think of something I've done more. Oh, also the uh, shift linkage. Where is it? Where is it? It's down here. Shift linkage. And then the transfer case linkage, right, right here. That's that. And all that has come off. So we got this thing on jack stands. We use the crane. We have a crane. Oh my god, that thing is so bright. We have a crane. We're gonna lift it up. And then we have the jack stands on the front subframe. And on the rear, we have it on the rear bumper. This dude got. This is how much is that? Like a hundred bucks? What? That? Oh, well, I got it with that yeah, look Milwaukee at knife. look at my Milwaukee. Look at his Milwaukee. So I got this with a knife. So it was a hundred and ten dollars, and it came with a free knife. Yeah, this thing is. The next one is like eighty. So this thing sucks, Milwaukee. No, I have one like that. It's, it's bright. Mine's not bright, bro. I gotta yeah, clean like the lens. Though, right? Yeah, it's old. Cover it, yeah. So. Right now, just we're dis we're gonna disconnect all the lines that connect to the transmission, and um, what? Yeah, yeah, all the wiring, and there's the cables, so that that connects to the transfer case, and then the the shift. Yeah, they took the cross member. I'm gonna put the cross member back up. Um, when we are lowering the transmission. Oh, we can't fucking... What? This shit doesn't come off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not gonna I come off. To take it out so there's another bolt over there. You gotta take that bolt out. We don't have to take that one out though, right? Yes, you do. Take that one out. What about that one, no? Which one? This that one? Does, that doesn't have the connector on it. So yeah, this one, this one you could keep in. But we need to, uh... 
When we put the crossover back up, we're just gonna use this. Yeah. Just, I'm gonna just put it in hand tight, just so it has something to hold on to. And uh, the exhaust has to come off too. But I already showed you guys in the video what has to come off. I'm just telling Scott. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. If you, if you look in it, there's like literally shards of it. In this one? In the differential. This one's fine. Where is it? No, in, where it was. In oh, the inside? Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, it's catching gears. Did you hear that? Yeah. I can't pull this right there, bro. Where? This fucking piece. Yeah. It's inside. Look, if you look in here. This shit's like shattered. Oh. <laughs> I see it. It's stuck. It's like the splines. Yeah, yeah the, the splines, splines to the uh, input. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, bro, but we're, we're going to lunch, bro. Hey, go to lunch, guys. Release. We'll come back. Oh, look at this. Record that way. Oh, you ready? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I told you this thing eats it. Oh my god. Alright, we're going to the defect, guys. <laughs> People are staring at me. Jeez. <laughs> 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 all right so we went to go get our COVID, second covid shot and um they said that we couldn't do it today even though it was our brigade's turn to do it so now we're just chilling um we just had lunch it's 12 35 gotta be back at 12 50 so we got like 15 minutes to just chill in the car and uh, listen to some music. Drop so, this. drop the roof in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, taking off these lines. Scott? Scott. Took off these two lines right here. These Wait, move two. your people real quick before I fucking. You, bro, you're gonna get soaked, bro. No, I'm not. Is it gonna shoot out? You bro, all everywhere, bro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even need pliers. Animal. Do I have to loosen this fucking nut first on it? No. Just, bro, just get a flat head or grab those and then turn it on it. Talking use to the, use you. no use the, the vice grips. No, bro, I got it. I'm I'm big. I'm built different. <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked in the face. Oh, what? I'm telling you, bro. You gotta twist it. All right, so right now we're taking the exhaust off. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot of heat shields on this. It looks because usually there isn't a lot. Uh, people usually just don't put them back up. So we have the top two bolts out of the, I don't know, what a downpipe, I guess. And Right now I gotta get these two bolts. They're the drive shaft, those, or the U bolt things are off. And the U bolt things over here are off. So we just have to get these two bolts. And when this um this part of the exhaust comes down, and we already drained the coolant out of the transfer case, and then we just have to get the linkages and the rear drive shaft and the transmissions out. And then the bell housing also. So yeah, also these uh, bolts into right here and that's it so it's not a lot of work it's just knowing what to do and what you what you can do and what you don't have to do <laughs> toss it up and catch it <laughs> Oh, 
navy lines. The only lines we're doing in the army. So <laughs> <laughs> where they do all the computer stuff in the front. All these outlets work, or they attach us to a generator. He's open. So I'm parked over the line because he's parked close, and then he's over the line. So now I'm like an asshole. Same really family size. Two in all. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear.